<sighs> Let's hope so anyway. I mean, I took a trip into the city today. Um, people didn't even realise that, you know, like we have Go Cards, which is like the Oyster card in in the UK, which is like a little plastic card that you prepay money and then you sort of swipe it across this little sort of swipey pad thing when you hop on the bus and then you swipe it off again when you're finished. The guy or the bus driver had his fluorescent jacket over the top of one of these readers because it was broken. People kept trying to swipe it through the jacket. It's like... Did you not wake your brain up with your body this morning? You know. Of course not. Oh my gosh. And then, of course, well, all, all the computers broke down today. Every store that I went to, I'm like, ah! <laughs> well, of course. And you know, the, the thing that I hate is, um, like, the day after Thanksgiving, you have Black Friday, which is when all the stores put everything on sale, especially electronics, mm -hmm. and you can get them for, like, dirt cheap. Mm -hmm. And every year, you hear stories, you hear horror stories about people being trampled, oh, people shocked. getting into fights, people, getting like, shocked. being killed. Freaking ridiculous. What was the one a couple of years ago? I think it was, like, I don't think, was it a PlayStation that got released or something and, and like, people were shooting one another to get a gaming thing? It wouldn't surprise me, honestly. I do know that there was one Walmart where, like, three people got trampled. And people will get into fights over this. I'm like, it's a stupid TV. Mm. And, you know, the good thing is now they've started doing a Cyber Week which basically you get the same deals for um, Black Friday online for a week. So guess what? You don't have I'm gonna to give you a little <laughs> Exactly. I'm going to give you a little tip here. Instead of waking up at ungodly hours in the morning, going to Walmart and getting trampled to death, how about you stay at home, you know, drink a cup of hot cocoa, Order things from Walmart.com and have them shipped to the store, and they'll get there in a week. You get the same things, same prices, everything, and you don't even have to leave your home except to go to the store, pick it up, and come home. And it's already paid for, so nobody can say, that's mine, mofo, whatever they call each other at the moment. Um, Yeah. <laughs> You don't want to know what they call each other, and of course, then again, it is Walmart, so they call that they call each other that on a daily basis. Yeah, and they do it wearing really, really horrible clothes. Yes, and they have um, "How can we help you?" written on their back because all the employees are constantly walking away from you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they should try that in some of the department stores here. Hmm. But you can't get help in Walmart. I mean, I've been in, my God, I've been into hundreds of Walmarts, or Walmarts a hundred times, I guess I should say. I've only been into like four Walmarts. But in all of my time in Walmart, I've gotten help twice. Wow. And how many times did you need help? Uh... A lot. I mean, if you try to ask someone, of course, about the time you need help, all the employees are going to just scatter. And then um, you're going to – actually, what's funny is the one time that I was helped in Walmart was I was um, I was reading the signs because they have signs posted above each aisle, and I couldn't find a particular thing. One of the employees noticed that I was looking at the signs, and she said, thank you. I was like okay, – after she'd helped me find whatever it was. Mm -hmm. She's like, thank you. I was like, you know, what do you, what do you mean? She goes, do you know how many people come into this store every day and they still have not noticed those signs? You were actually <laughs> trying to find it. <laughs> Which is probably why they all scatter because they're like, use your brains. Pretty much. I mean, <laughs> th there is the, there does need to be a type of common sense, but ah. Yes. 
see those signs only really work if you write under them if you're really short. Because sometimes the shelving is that high, you can't see them. Well, they have all the signs at the end of the aisles. I mean, the the shelves are really tall. Mm -hmm. but And sometimes the stuff on them makes them even taller. But, I mean, they're right there at the end of the aisle. All you have to do is look up, oh, this is where the beans are. Oh, this is where the toilet paper is. It's clearly written. Look, people. <laughs> See, you know what I like to do? Because I've got a similar type of system at a hardware chain here called Bunnings. Um, except the end of their aisles to sort of save on the stress of things. Well, maybe that's what it's for. They write whatever is in that aisle in chalk on a chalkboard at the end of the aisle. I'm waiting for some enterprising little rat to come along with his own piece of chalk and change the signs. I would do it. Yeah, I, I probably wouldn't change the signs because I know that, you know, my writing is really crap. <clears throat> but I might go along and lick my finger once or twice, maybe five times, because since there's five fingers, and run my finger through the middle of the word so you can't exactly read it. Maybe I'd do that. I don't know. It depends on how psychotic I end up after the holidays. <laughs> well, you know, holidays do have a bad tendency of making you uh, kind of crazy. But the good news is... Oh, yeah. Hang on. Um, yay. Ready? <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that sound must mean we have Doctor Who news! Yay! Woohoo! Okay, so, for those of you who have not heard the. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> that was gibberish for the Christmas special prequel has been released! There's a prequel? There is a prequel. Why? I don't know. <laughs> oh. Do I look like Stephen Moffat to you? Um, considering I don't know what he looks like, maybe. <laughs> I feel slightly insulted. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll have you know some of my scripts have been better. But we won't get into that. Even though I was the one that corrected his arrogant ass. Anyway... Mm. So, yes, the uh, Christmas special prequel. They do this every so often. Some of the episodes from season six had prequels as well. It's basically little teasers here and there to kind of get you in the spirit and, you know, to try and get you all excited about what's going to happen. And um, it usually ends in a, a slight cliffhanger. Well, this one is or does not leave anything out, basically. It um it doesn't leave you well it leaves you unsatisfied in a way because the cliffhanger at the end is ridiculously awful and makes you literally scream at the computer what's happening no what's gonna happen next no that can't happen oh so um, yes everyone go to Doctor Who TV dot co.uk um, and you can find the Christmas special prequel there. Uh, you will also be happy to know that by the time this airs we will have 15 days until the Christmas Christmas special airs and I'm pretty sure that's going to end up being worldwide. Well we can hope. Yes. Okay and then the other part is um, everyone has heard talk of these um or everyone's heard rumors of a Doctor Who movie and everyone's kind of panicking and you know, like you do because you know everyone that it's well, like let's face it most go ahead it's like no we've all just decided we like it don't kill it pretty, pretty much yeah but you know most Whovians are kind of going okay we remember 1996 no yeah don't, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> 